Real Women of Philadelphia. I'm Joe Davison from Florida. I'm kicking back on my lanai enjoying the beautiful weather that Florida is giving us today. The family has requested some burgers for dinner and I thought it would be a perfect time to share with you my recipe for my jalapeno popper burgers. This recipe I created a couple of years ago when we were going to throw a really big party and we were just going to serve some burgers and some dogs and some broth and someone requested my jalapeno poppers. Well, if any of you've ever made them, you know that they are very time consuming. When you're expecting 25 guests, you're pretty much going to need about 50. And as I went to go prep burgers in the morning and I kept staring at this big pile of jalapenos, I just didn't have it in me to create that many jalapeno poppers. So I thought, why don't I just stuff everything inside? I've done it before with other things. So my vision for the jalapeno poppers was created. It ended up being a hit for the party. And to this day, I've never made another jalapeno popper since. So I'm going to sit back for a few more minutes and enjoy this beautiful weather. And then we'll head over to the grill and start making some burgers for the family. See you in just a bit. Okay, siesta time is over. It's time to make some dinner for the family. I've got the grill started and I set it at a medium high heat to get our jalapenos going. Let's go over all the ingredients you're going to need to make this meal. We're going to get started by getting the jalapenos on the grill. Now what I'm going to do is we're just going to lightly coat them with some olive oil just to prevent them from sticking. And we're going to place them on the grill. and we're just going to blister the skins on both sides. So while those are on, let's get our burgers started. So to our two pounds of ground beef, we're going to add our spices and our garlic. Now with your hand, just combine them and all these ingredients together. Just mix it till it's combined. Don't really mess with the meat too much um, so they don't fall apart, the burgers don't fall apart on the grill. Just to incorporate the spices. Now the two pounds of hamburger meat is going to give you about four good sized burgers. To create these burgers, we're going to make eight individual patties. I'll get you started here. Divide your meat into four. Take out one section, divide it again, and make a hamburger patty with each side. That's exactly what I'm doing. And they will be thin, thin, thin burgers, since we are stacking them on top of each other, just like this. One. Next one, second one. These two are going to create one burger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish creating all of these burgers. I'm going to flip the jalapenos that are on the grill, wash up, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to assemble them. Okay, all the patties are complete and done. We have eight beautiful patties. I have taken the jalapenos off the grill and we are going to prep them for our burgers. So um, if you want to look at the jalapenos, let me show you what they should look like. You'll notice that each popper, half of it, is nice and blistered, the skin. Now with most chili, you usually take off the skin, but with the jalapeno poppers, we are keeping it on. Now all of the heat is contained in the membrane and the seeds, if you don't want that much heat take them out. This, all you have to do is just run your knife through it and it all comes out very easily. And there it is, right before you chop. Now I'm immune to heat because I was raised in a state that puts green chili or some type of chili on absolutely everything, including pizza. So I'm going to keep the membranes and the seeds intact on my dish. So all we need to do is just slice it up. Be careful, they are hot and I would recommend not touching them with your fingers so you don't accidentally rub your eyes or anything because they will burn. So 
So let's get these all chopped up and ready for our cream cheese. Okay, so let's assemble these burgers. To your three ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, you're going to add your six slices of bacon and our roasted jalapenos. we want to seal the burgers. So we're going to place all the mixture on just four of them, divide it up. Okay, so it looks like we have this all and all of them. Move a little bit of this one over. Share it all here. So, once this is placed, put that to the side, we are going to finish them up here. So we're going to take the other patty, we're going to put it right on top. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure and pinch the ends together to combine it and to create the pocket where, so that none of the ingredients fall out them very well and then you can reshape the patty after you've done that. Okay, so it looks like everything is encased. We're just going to kind of pat it together again. It's nice and there. Now I've dropped the heat on the grill just a little bit so that the um, outside doesn't just charcoal and we cook the inside. We want to make sure we're not eating any raw ground beef. And these burgers are going to take about five minutes on each side. Keep an eye on them. Okay, this one's ready. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the other three burgers and place them on the grill. And when they are all grilled on both sides, we'll all come right back. Burgers are off the grill and right before they were done, probably about a minute, I went ahead and melted our pepper jack cheese on them and toasted our buns up a little bit. So let's assemble our burgers so we can eat. Okay, so let's take our burger and we're going to add a big piece of tomato, our homemade guacamole. which an easy version of guacamole is just to smash two, three avocados, add your favorite salsa, a little bit of salt, pepper, uh, garlic, powder, and a little bit of lime juice, and you have um, a quick guacamole. Here we go, I'm gonna top our burger. That is a burger. Cut it open so you can see all of the good stuff inside. Okay, losing our stuff here. Oh, now we're going to be able to get our meals around us. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, look at this burger. Smack dab in the middle is our jalapenos, our bacon, and our Philadelphia cream cheese looks delicious, doesn't it? Thanks for joining me this afternoon. I hope you like my jalapeno popper burgers, and more importantly, I hope you make them for your family. It's time for me to go feed my family. Good luck to all the contestants out there, and have a fabulous day.